Business tycoon Elon Musk, one of the richest people in the world, has been in regular contact with Russian President Vladimir Putin and other Kremlin officials since late 2022, the Wall Street Journal reported, citing undisclosed official sources. Musk, known as the founder and CEO of the space and telecom company SpaceX and the owner of the social media platform X, came out in support of Ukraine at the start of the full-scale invasion in 2022, donating Starlink communication terminals that greatly assisted Ukrainian defenders. His views progressively shifted toward pro-Russian positions later during the war, and the billionaire prevented Ukraine from using Starlink terminals in strikes on the Russian fleet. He has also complained that he is losing money by providing Starlink service to Ukraine. The business tycoon who has backed the campaign of Republican President nominee and ex-US President Donald Trump has denied sympathizing with Moscow and claimed he talked with Putin only once in April 2021 about space-related topics. Former and current European, US and Russian officials told the Wall Street Journal that Musk has held further conversations with Putin and other high-ranking Kremlin officials since late 2022. This reportedly included Sergei Kirienko, Putin's first deputy chief of staff, who has been named as the top figure of Russian propaganda and disinformation activities. Since Musk acquired X, experts have pointed out a sharp rise of disinformation, hate speech, and radical and pro-authoritarian content on the platform. Moscow, an avid user of the platform himself, used it to speak out against the passage of a Ukrainian aid bill earlier this year and said that there is no way in hell that Russia would lose the war. Putin also asked Musk not to activate Starlink over Taiwan or as a favor to Beijing, which claims the island as its sovereign territory, the Wall Street Journal wrote. Starlink is currently not active in Taiwan. The Kremlin has denied communication with Musk and White House officials told the WSJ they are not aware of it. According to the WSJ, the contacts are a well-kept secret in the US government due to Musk's access to sensitive information as a major security and technology contractor. SpaceX, which operates Starlink, was awarded a classified $1.8 billion contract in 2021, reported to build a network of spy satellites for US intelligence. Security-related concerns regarding Musk also arose over Russia's increasing use of Starlink terminals bought via third-party countries, boosting Russian forces as they grind on in Ukraine's east. Musk said that SpaceX does not sell equipment to Moscow and that it would not operate in Russia. The matter is all the more sensitive as Musk has become an increasingly vocal supporter of Trump, even joining him at a rally in Pennsylvania in early October. The former president said that he could appoint Musk to run a government efficiency commission if he wins the election. Trump has previously criticized the support the Biden administration has provided to Ukraine, sparking fears he might withdraw Washington's support if re-elected on November the 5th. The Israeli army says that four soldiers have been killed in combat with Hezbollah militants in southern Lebanon. In a statement released Thursday, the Israeli military said 11 other troops were wounded during fighting with Hezbollah the day before, without elaborating on what happened. The announcement makes Wednesday one of the deadliest days of Israel's offensive in Lebanon, which it invaded over three weeks ago after a year of exchanging cross-border fire with Hezbollah. Israel has expanded its campaign in the country on its northern border, increasing airstrikes against Hezbollah targets across the country. Israel's military casualties have begun to climb in southern Lebanon, with another four soldiers killed by a Hezbollah drone attack earlier this month. In a speech Thursday, Israel's military chief lieutenant Jen Herzi Halavai signaled that Israel hoped to wrap up its operations in Lebanon. In the north, there's a possibility of reaching a sharp conclusion, Halavai said. We thoroughly dismantled Hezbollah's senior chain of command. 